themselves seriously and say they are politicians. Who is a politician? What does a politician look like? And uh, uh, what does a human being look like? Who is a politician? Uh, some of us think a politician exists and the people who call themselves politicians, they automatically become different human beings just because they carry the label. This morning we're talking about who is a journalist, a journalist? What does a journalist look like? Now we are talking again about something different. This is a politician, a human being like you and me, but in life some acquire this uh, title and they use this mask to build a new human identity and also a human class. Some who call themselves entitled to make decisions on behalf of others simply because they are politicians. But who is a politician? Uh, what do we look like? What do these people look like? And uh, uh, if you were to redefine what a human being is and what a human being is not, would you call some human beings politicians? If so, why? Why would one of us rise above others, no qualification is required, and uh, simply to take this new title, human title, human label, human identity called politician. Yet when you are asking what is a politician, not many people will be able to answer that question. So maybe let's Google what is a politician and see what is said about this person because that may be instructive, that may uh, uh, help us in terms of unpacking what this kind of human being is. So I just Googled and this is what I got. Uh, a person, a politician is a person active in party politics, is a person active in party politics. What if that person is not in a party. Is he still a politician? <laughs> Do you have to be active in party politics for you to be a politician? What then is a politician? Because anyone can be active and therefore call themselves a politician. Is it sufficient for one to carry the identity of a politician simply on account of active, which is not defined, uh, in party politics, which is not defined, what is a party in Zimbabwe, there are people debating this very issue of what a party is, what a party is not. And uh, some people would argue that a party is just an association of human beings who agree to do something jointly. Politicians propose, support and create laws or policies that govern the land and by extension its people. Broadly speaking, a politician can be anyone who seeks to achieve political power in any bureaucratic institution. And uh, that's what some people call a politician. Somebody who seeks to achieve something using perhaps the people as instruments to get to where that person wants to go. So if you understand this correctly, then you appreciate what I was talking about. So we are waiting for Mr. Uh, Tinashe uh, uh, Isaiah, uh, Tinashe Jonas to be able to give us his own perspective. Do you trust a politician? <laughs> and. Uh, there is Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Jonasi. Good afternoon. Uh, how are you? How are you? How are you? Good afternoon. Yes, I, afternoon. I, I apologize. My Wi-Fi is a problem. 
Oh, okay, no, no, no problem. At least you are in. Uh, wildfire seems to have a problem as well uh, with Wi-Fi, but uh, we are also waiting for him. And uh, the subject is uh, what is a politician? So I start with uh, we have a two-man panel. Uh, good afternoon, Wellington. Good afternoon, Wellington. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Mawere. Good afternoon, Mr. Jonas. Yes. So, Mr. Jonas, you are under the spotlight, and uh, we want to pick on your brains. Uh, the first thing is this uh, human identity called a politician. What kind of animal is that? Or does that animal exist? Or people claim to be one when they are not one and they don't even understand what this identity entails. So good afternoon, if you can hear me. Hello? Why do you still give this stupid Jonas platform to talk shallow ideas. I guess I don't give platform, but if he can give his own input, you can also give one dinner dinner. There is nobody who disturbs another. But what is your take? And uh, Mkoma Masimba is there. What is your take? What is a politician? Uh, Mr. Jonas, can you hear me? Yeah, I can, I can hear you. All right. So you can, uh, you can tell us. That. You, you are saying? What is a politician? Um, I think a politician is a member of a political party or a political movement and um, who practices um, his right to vote or to, um, to be elected into any public office. All right. So uh, you are on the spotlight and uh, we agreed that we are not going to make it open so Mr. Chimeza, you can listen and uh, hear what is going on and you can type Mr. Jonasi. We want to give him a full hour of uh, interrogation on his understanding of uh, a political party so that we dig deeper. There are some people who are calling him names, but he's coming here giving up time to help inform educate so mr jonas you said you must be a member of a political party is that correct yeah or, or a movement and if you are not a member can you be a politician uh i think when you are not a member but you practice the politics i think you qualify more as an activist so if you are temba muliswa who is an independent Mm -hmm. member of parliament does he qualify yeah. to be a politician i think he qualifies because he he is voting he is also looking for i mean he is campaigning to be elected and now he's an elected member honorable uh, elected member of parliament for norton so to me he's 100 percent a politician all right so if you are a representative of the people Mm -hmm. Does that qualify you to be a politician? If then you are you are a representative in a political circle, I think when you are seeking public office, then it, it, through elections, uh, I think uh, that then become it qualifies you as a politician because a politician must be must be seeking public office 
and must also formulate poly must participate in policy formulation and implementation okay so for you to be this animal called a politician you must uh, a belong to some association yeah yeah you must be in a, a certain association no matter it's a, con it's a con constituent level uh, like you wanted to be an mp or at, at a ward level because the, the members of the ward the 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 um, i mean people who stay within that ward becomes a, a, an association because they are stakeholders in the in the choice of a, of a councillor or an mp so an association can be association by by neighborhood by certain um, beliefs or, or objectives so do you acquire a new identity because you are active you don't you to me generally the way the politics or activism i classify those uh, both as um, a person who, who has got a conscience if you have got an active conscience knowing what is wrong what is right you definitely would defend human rights would defend human aspirations human dreams and then you you become a automatically a politician because everyone must be a politician or activist so you are saying that an active citizen is a is an activist yeah because to me a politician also qualifies as an activist because the the word activist to me to my own understanding it's 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 someone who is it it, it, it describes a citizen who is participative who is engaging who is involved so the the, the word activist people must know that it, it it also you can you can most people are both activists and politicians so what is politics to you politics is to be um, a proactive citizen uh i mean yeah you need you just need to be an active citizen because it, every citizen must love his country so when you love you, your country you can't then just pray it's not enough you need to bake the the prayer the the, the desire with action so if i'm dancing i'm active i'm physical no 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 no, 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 no. We, here we are talking about the poli socio political uh socio political uh matter matters because the, no, but, uh, i mean uh, uh, how, how I mean, do you how do you distinguish me let's say i'm deaf i'm dumb i can't hear i can't talk can i be a politician yes i mean how how I would mean, you know that i am okay you need to i mean everyone has got a they've got a certain um a model model of 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 of, of zimbabwe they, they 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 desire the dream the zimbabwean dream the the the, the ideal zimbabwe when then you you start getting involved for the attainment of such a, a desired or ideal zimbabwe you you become then an activist and a politician it's, it's when you are seeking public office when you want people to vote for you you put up a campaign uh, in form of a manifesto or a certain policies then it, that's the, to me that's the difference between an activist and a politician because an activist is only participating for a for for human rights for for a for a better society that's an activist but an no, activist Mr. can be Mr. Jonas, do you know what an apple looks like yes do you know what an orange looks like yes is there a difference between the two yeah, there's a difference. Although they all fall fall under a, the, the 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 family of of vegetation or fruits. But if I'm active and I'm not active, how do you distinguish between okay. the two? When you are dancing, dancing, I mean, for music, it it falls under entertainment. You you don't then become an an activist is someone who is um who is active in in terms of human rights, in terms of bettering. Uh, himself and the society uh, yeah i mean when then you are better in your your can if somebody says the bullshitters are called politicians for a better they, for a lack of a better word 
because all they do is talk. It's not transactional. There's no value you get out of them. You, you elect somebody and it ends up a lemon, a bitter lemon. And uh, okay. you just have to eat it just because you created it. So what is a politician if it is not a bush eater? Okay. Uh, the problem is that a, a politician, for him to, to, to work, uh, I would give the definition of uh, when, when, when Mao Zedong defined soldiers as the fish and the masses as the water. So I, in this case, I would take a soldier as a politician. For a, for a, a politician to also to be a better politician, a, a politician is a representative of the society is coming from, the community is coming from. If a sick country or a sick nation would also in turn produce sick leaders. So a politician is not an, an alien uh, within the, 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 this area of influence or, with, or within his political constituency. So, so people must not judge politicians and them they must be away from that e e equation. Because the, but the, 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 but uh -huh. do you agree there's no distinguishing features of a human being that qualifies one to carry that identity? Because you still remain mm -hmm. you. Yeah, no, th there's no feature. The way the politician is, uh, you are defined as a politician through the responsibilities and the activities you, you, you carry. As I said, when you are seeking public office through election, you, you, uh, I mean, you, the use of a campaign and the manifesto, then you, you become a politician. Otherwise, no. anyone can become a politician because it's a decision. But aren't you creating tribalism? But by, by, by becoming by a politician? Between human beings, one is now called a politician, active, the other who you need to vote by being active, voting itself in, as an activity. Then you call the other non-politician because he voted for you to, to give you some uh, uh, unknown, undefined uh, identity. Okay. Uh, in every activity, there are major uh, role players and there are um, those who play limited or minor roles. The same as in soccer, there, is, there are players, there are coaches, there are, there are spectators who are in the stadium. So, I mean, in any event, obviously, we can't participate, um, uh, a, I mean, at equal ratio. So a politician is a senior a stakeholder in the political uh, game because he is the one, the whole activity of election, of voting, is created because there are people who want public office. So, so let, me hold have... you, let me hold you there. You are saying a politician is a senior. Yeah. To who? Okay. The, the, the major player are candidates, obviously. In a, if there are no candidates, then there won't be an election. So, the, so the, pro the politician rises above the, the, the individuals who create him. Uh -uh. My point is, politics, we can take it as a game. Then candidates are the players. You, you know, so... The, the, okay. the, 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 so, of course, when, when, when they, 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 in the players, there are managers, coaches, <laughs> which in this case, there are campaign managers, then there are people who are voting, there are spectators in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in a game of soccer. So a, a politician is, 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 is a, a major player, but he is also a product of the voters. It, it, so it, it, it's in the, that, that a politician ceases to be equal to the people, he takes a different stage or wears high heeled shoes and uh, no, no. Uh, stands tall and taller than others. No, no, no. I'm not saying a politician is more important than the voters. I am saying in, 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 there are major there are major players in the sense that if there are no candidates, there won't be any election at all. So but, I'm saying others are candidates, but the one in the cockpit, in the theater, is the politician. Is that what you're saying? Yes, the politician is a is a player is a player in the game, and then the the voters 
they because the, the politicians are competing through ideology and their manifestos or policies then they they, they win the people then the people become the 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 the, the they, I mean, they, they, they vote now according to policy or, or, or manifesto. So the, the people are now convinced. Because when you vote, you vote, you are already convinced by a certain candidate. You, you, you are not motivated to vote if you are not convinced by if you are not uh, convinced by a candidate. So imagine I go to a cash and carry. Mm -hmm. I carry the goods. I go to the point of sale. Yeah. I give up something to get something. But yeah. with the politician, this animal, what is it that I get? I give up my vote. Yeah. What do I get? Okay. Um, remember, uh, when people are voting for a politician, they, are, they, 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 they vote for the manifesto the manifesto must obviously include include the i mean things like e, e, industry employment um e, depending at what level is the are they participating is it a national election is it a, a, a district election is it a ward election e, i mean it, it depends uh, or, or it's a internal uh, is it's an election in within a political party it depends at what level but obviously a better candidate is someone people give responsibility to better their lives. So what is it that a politician can give? Politicians, give? Are, politicians are, are, are given the responsibility to lead a certain um, constituency uh, in terms of uh, formulating uh, around their policies so that they, 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 when, when their policies are impl fully implemented, Lives must must change. So you are saying a politician can cause something to happen. Yeah, in, in the positive and both in the positive and the, in the negative. So this animal then is he born or created? Where do we a get the, the factory to produce this unique animal to lead others? I think the the the, the level of consciousness. Is, is what creates politicians. Because let me say, in a certain country, human rights are being abused. People who are conscious, they will look, they will read the constitution, they would understand that here yeah, we are being trampled upon, they would, do, they would speak their mind. A person with an active conscience would do, defend his conscience at whatever cost. So at the level of consciousness is what separates an activist or a politician with how, uh, how do you how do you measure consciousness is it something that is quantifiable identifiable or... it, 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 I, I, I mean it, it, it can only be seen it, its visibility is manifested in the in the level of participation um and the human defending a person goes to because for example uh, when someone is running for president or someone is running for um, even a senator or a member of parliament, it's already telling us the level of activism. It's, it, 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 it separates now, are you, are you at a wide level, district or national? Those are um, different levels of uh, consciousness because a person who participates in a national election, he has got a, 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 a conscience about the national issues. Because you can't run for, for an office as a president when you don't understand the, the country, the, the so region. That, that, that for you to be a president, you must yeah. have a better understanding than the job public, than the ordinary citizen. Yes, because a, a presidential candidate must know domestic policy, both domestic and foreign policy. Okay, so who judges whether you know Better or less? Do you they, think? They, okay. The judges are the voters. But how do they get to know uh, uh, of you when something has not happened? Uh, that's the problem again because uh, we need the meritocracy. We need the public representative who goes to into offices 
because of what was of their achievements. So unfortunately, um, manifestos alone are not enough because the, normally they are being used as a bait to lure people to just get votes and get uh, into office and forget. So um, we need to reward the capacity and the, and the, yeah, our, politi our politics must be more on merit meritocracy. We need to reward the uh, achievements more than the promises. Okay, so we have uh, questions. We have two gentlemen who are going to post questions. I will give them uh, a two minutes just to uh, ask you. You yourself, as first comrade uh, Ziva Zahuri uh, at Eustace Kanyemba, also known as Mr. President, Jonas Bordo. Jonas Bordo a politician, is a senior. Somebody is making a joke. And then it's uh, not about being elected into public office, but to have the desire and show characteristics of wanting to serve the, uh, the, the, the people and improve their lives. So I'll start with uh, Chimeza. Do you have any directed question? No, not at this moment, sir. Right. And go on, Masim, by any, any direct question. Is there, is there any, any question there? So, go on, Masim, by is gone. And the, uh, the, uh, Mr. Jonasi, now that uh, uh, we have created a distinction between human beings, one being yes. a politician, the other being the other, yes. are you not afraid that we are revisiting apartheid? Yeah, as, as I said, um um so many people would want to be leaders but there's there's a lot uh your under your conscience level your your charisma there are so many uh, ingredients that make you uh, because at the end of the day politics is summarized as the public appeal uh whether you are the right candidate it's a beauty contest it's a beauty pageant yes your level of public appeal gets you to mileage and the and the and the I mean and the high offices. All right, so you have to dress nice, look something. How do we measure the heart of a man, Mr. Jonas? Can you measure? Uh, the heart is difficult because uh, when people wa uh, want to appeal to uh, want to appeal to the public. They pretend to be what they are not. And uh, we have seen so many leaders. Um, uh, I mean, immediately, we have what even a member of parliament in Zimbabwe. Uh, I, I know uh, our former MP uh, from Norton, who was called, um, who was, um, I am forgetting his name, but he, he lost in the 2013 elections. Uh, he was an, a member of parliament up to 2013 uh, in, in, uh, in the in Norton from MDC. I mean, he had the record that he never said anything in parliament for five years. Are you a politician? Uh, I don't know how people would qualify. Uh, I mean, uh, describe me, but I, I think I'm a politician. And if you're on a scale of one to ten, knowing what you know about these creatures. How yeah. would you rate yourself? I think I'll give myself a seven. Seven out of ten. Yeah. All right. Uh, this guy, Tinashe Jonas, is, is a greedy attention seeker. He is on live. Ask him uh, if it's true or false that when he was staying in Brampton, he used to work with corrupt policemen. He would tip them on drug loads and fraudsters and would split the bribe money in return. Jonas' heart 
is corrupt. I would like to hear his answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's so funny that someone is giving conclusive information about me and then go on to want an answer from me. Uh, was, what he is putting forward is not a question. According to his packaging, it, it, it's facts. That is our problem. Uh, we, 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 we confuse facts and opinions. Um, he's saying I was working with the police and uh, keeping drug loads. I, I mean, I, I think I don't need to answer. He needs to present um, evidence of that. The owner so Mr. To... Mr. Jonas says he who alleges mm -hmm. bears the owners to prove. Yes, so he must prove. If you have evidence of what you are saying, yeah, you just uh, use the law enforcement uh, officers to process it. For now, yeah. Mr. Jonas is presumed to be innocent until proved guilty by a court of law. Thank so we shall so be and that's what we are trying to improve. Yes. That, uh, let us take facts, use them, so that we get answers. Yeah. And uh, um, Kwama Simba, you wanted to ask questions to uh, our uh, declared politician. He says he is, <laughs> and uh, some may say that's fake. That's not reality. So go ahead. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mawere. Tinashe Jonas, if I may ask you, I see you as a politician. I also see you as an activist. Why am I saying this? You are the president of Ideal Zimbabwe. You have got your own party and you are the leader right now. So that makes you already a politician. I'm not sure if your party is registered in Zimbabwe, which is just a matter of administration or process. My question to you, Zan P.F. Munangago has got a manifesto. He told us new dispensation. MDC Alliance, they've got a manifesto. You too have got your own manifesto. Why should I vote for you? That's what I want to know. Yet you have never been in government. I don't know you. I just met you on social media. Why should I vote for you? What is the difference between you, Munangagwa, and Chamisa? Okay. All right. Uh, I think your, your question again centers around the, maybe our party manifesto. Um, or my or my style, okay. Then I, I, I mean, I would answer that, that question. Um, the politics in Zimbabwe, okay. Let me talk about the policy. Was you run the country through policy? Um, what is my difference with ED and uh, Nelson Chamisa and any other uh, presidential candidates? He come 2023. Was by the way, I'm running for president. Uh, 2023, I'm running. Um, our difference is that other leaders, they, their policy formulation is, is motivated by populism and by, by desperation to get a vote. What do I mean? I mean, our, when, when I'm in power, our policy formulation and implementation is going to be begged by research data. What do I mean? We won't say we are going to create employment, maybe 20% from our head. We are not going to say we are going to build 20 clinics across Zimbabwe. We need a team of researchers. Let me talk by of education first. For example, let me talk about education first. Education is the platform to create the level of dreams within a nation, the culture of business, the culture of morality, the culture of respect. The Zimbabwean dream is, 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 is um, created by the educational industry. What can we do, for example? Uh, we can create what we call educational incubators where probably kids from maybe five years to maybe to 12 years, they are in educational um, institutions where 
they are going to be subjected to to sports scientists, to industrialists, to different people who would then realize, I mean, what talent is um, within a second uh, child. So that from, if let's say a child is, um, is a talented sports person and is identified when he's about seven years old, resources must be channeled into that child as a sports star. Other than to, for example, we, we, are, we, are, we are having kids, uh, students who are doing 20, I mean, 12 subjects. When that person reaches um, A level, they downsize to three. We, we, if a child is an industrialist or a, an entrepreneur, they must be groomed from a young age, given certain things or to sell or a certain business, whether it's a business of sweets whatever we, we, we must create um um producers we must be a country of production not a country of of um in, in workers and uh, we, we need we, we need to to, to groom uh, if, if kids are talented in it so we need research uh, to know let's say the minister of finance we need to audit what is the country worth in terms of human capital, in terms of uh, mineral resources, in terms of agricultural land? The problem in, in Zimbabwe right now, we don't know what is the country even worth. What is the country worth in terms of if we are borrowing and increasing the, 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 the I mean, uh, I mean, go, I mean, we have got a lot of credits right now. Yet Zimbabwe, my IMF once did the research and say the Zimbabwe is the richest country in the world in terms of resources per person ratio. So meaning if we implement our resources well without um, corruption, we, 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 our citizens tend to, uh, tend to have a better life than, almost, uh, than people in the US and, uh, and in the other first world countries. But we don't know what we are worth. Politicians are just using words to, 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 to make people happy. You, you, if you are a leader, it doesn't mean that you are the most uh, wisest. It doesn't mean, mean that you are the best thinker. You need the scientific information for you to, 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 to create policy. For example, we can't just say we are trading with partner, with, the, with the China. We have, right now, we have got the look east policy. The look east policy. China... What Asia, whatever. If you ask these people who are in government, who are talking about the look east policy, tell them, ask them, what is the what is the deal? What is the trading? I mean, uh, deal between Zimbabwe and China. In whose favor is it? Do we have a good deal with China? Is it a bad deal? They don't know anything. What they are just as long as there are many Chinese people in Zimbabwe or Chinese products in Zimbabwe. Then they are happy. So All you right. need uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, Mr. Uh, um, Kwama Zimba, any further question or you are happy with the answer? No, uh he hasn't answered my question. My question was very simple, and uh I think he didn't get my question. I will try to restructure my question. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay. L let me answer you in summary. But uh, I said leadership is all about the policy formulation and implementation in summary our policy formulation and implementation is 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 motivated by research others they just talk uh, like we are going to create two million jobs if you ask them how they won't give you scientific data that is conclusive to the creation of two million jobs so all the manifestos done in zimbabwe are just the ESA. They are not backed by research. So our party is research driven. It's not about populism, saying anything from your head, whether you got it from your from your, your a PR company or from a prophecy, a prophet or a sangoma. Okay. Uh, are you happy with the answer with the summarized version? Well, let me try to come up with a different angle to get my answer. Tinashe Jonas, you are currently in South Africa. 
and uh, you have seen problems with our government in Zimbabwe. And you mm -hmm. came up with an idea to have your own party as a solution, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, we are talking about 2023. My question yeah. to you, Tinashe Jonas, you know for sure in Zimbabwe, a president is protected by the state. You went to Zimbabwe, you wanted to arrest Idim Nangagwa. Why and how and what happened? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, when you are an activist, uh, activism by nature, by definition, by responsibility, it's a, it's a dangerous terrain. Being an activist, especially in Africa, it's like signing um, a, a warrant to be in prison, a warrant to be abducted, a warrant to be to, for death, I mean, a, a death warrant. So activism is dangerous, and we know that. So you, uh, what I did, uh, it was uh, revolutionary because I wanted to lead the masses of Zimbabwe to, 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 take, to take out the government. That was my, 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 my role in wanting to go to arrest the president and the vice president. It was a revolutionary stunt. And then in a country that people are divided, number one, in a country that people are cowards, obviously it collapsed. And then I was alone. I was arrested. Tinashe, okay. you are already yeah. accusing me. Yeah, accusing me of being part of the cowards. Because you are saying in a country where they are cowards. I'm also someone born from Zimbabwe. Tinashe, mm -hmm. it was your idea. You wanted to arrest President Nagawa. I could mm -hmm. not help you. I could only watch. So if you call me a coward, you're actually insulting me. Okay. Um, okay. L let, let me say, there are so many people who talk on social media that ED e must go, uh, ZANU-PF must go. So when you're an activist, sometimes you represent a certain sector of, of, of community. So those people who are too vocal on, on social media are... Uh, because they want ZANU-PF to go, they want ED to go, were the people I thought I was representing. You thought. So it was your mistake, not my mistake. <laughs> you planned for me. Uh, I'm talking no, 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 me no. now. Because I'm talking those people who are cowards. You call us, you call us cowards. Uh, I'm saying, no, uh, you right. draw your way. You owe me an apology. You owe us an apology. Uh, no, 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 no. As a leader. No, 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 no. Uh, you, know, you know what? Um, when I say people are cowards, I mean that he, there's a very loud voice in Zimbabwe on social media that the government must go. That, that voice is very loud. Um, so when I'm an activist, you don't represent everyone in the country. But my way to coward, I'm representing the people with a, a high-pitched voice on social media that the ED must go, that the NPF must go. Those are the people who didn't take part or, or, or help me or support me when I was representing them. Those can you who are, expect me to support you to arrest president? I know it can't. So how do you expect no, 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 me to no, support no. you? So if you were not part of that community, then I was not representing you. Okay. So who, who were you representing? Who sent you? Who are ah, those no, people? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I saw you by yourself uh, on the no, camera. No, 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 okay. One. Uh, so okay, I'm, 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 I'm you okay. you're doing it for us. You're doing it for yourself, okay. my brother. Okay, if, if I'm an activist, whether I'm representing myself or anyone, that's activism. An activist can you can do an action alone or with people. That's activism. But that is not activism. How can you say I want to arrest a president? It can't. You know for okay. sure a president is protected by the state. So how do you get okay. closer? So that was All a right. silly move. That was a change. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Good good strategy. You got the attention. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Now we wait. Yeah. Uh, okay, wait. Wait. When when you are talking to me and you are asking me questions and you are concluding, let let me have the pleasure to say I have got the right. Don't ask me questions. I have got the right no, now not to answer your questions because you ask me questions while you have got answers. I'm I, I'm telling you that what I did was symbolic. You don't go and arrest the president and put handcuffs. Literally, take him to prison. When, when what happened even now to Mali, the protest was done by soldiers. 
sometimes what happened in in, in, in Sudan, the protest was <laughs> led by ordinary people, but the president eventually was arrested by the military. So the arresting of a president is not, you knock at this office, you grab his hands, you put hands. The arresting of a president is a symbolic which represents a mass uprising, which represents, uh, um, um, and, I mean, a, a, a revolution. When Robert Mugabe, Robert Mugabe didn't say, I'm going to arrest Ian Smith. He didn't say so. But the action of going to the bush in Mozambique, everything, when Smith was finally defeated, the Robert Mugabe had a, a luxury to arrest Smith or to forgive him. So when people are doing a revolution, a revolution, I, I was obviously people must not have understood it like I was going to the office of the president, put handcuffs. It was a revolutionary move. It, it, it was an incitement of a revolution. So the, 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 that's what, what it is. It, 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 you don't just woke up. I, I, I've got it. Um, I mean, enough. Uh, in enough common sense to, to understand that I was not just going to walk into Munumtapa and put handcuffs on him. That was not obviously impossible. But the move was a symbolic nature. Zimbabweans are afraid. Zimbabweans are, are fearful. Uh, I mean, you, it, it was, it was rep, I was representing those people who are afraid that you can be killed, you can be arrested. You must stand up for your mind. You must stand up for your conscience. So that was symbolic. If there were people who were going to support me or not, that was their choice, obviously. But I did what I thought was good for me. It, you, you can't say it was attention-seeking because that move was dangerous. What if I had disappeared? How do you seek attention in something that can make you disappear or that can make you be being killed? But I, I give you the privilege to, 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 to understand my movement, my, my action, because I acted. But I've got the right. I don't want to take your further question. All right. Thank so, you very much, Nashi Jonas. I think uh, okay. I'm with you. It's only that uh, if I disagree with you, don't take me like an enemy. Take it like... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I won't appreciate someone who asks me questions for me to define my intention. Me going to the office of the president, I had my personal intention. So you can't then dispute my, my personal intention and then come back to say it was attention seeking. If you know for a fact it was attention seeking, why then asking me questions? Well, so, the attention so no, 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 so, no, 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 wait. The moment you have got answers, you do, there is no need of you to ask me questions. Okay, I think uh, there we are, that's Zimbabwe in motion. What uh, we are uh, doing is to open our minds our perimeters so that we can have a conversation. <laughs> and thank you for being able to expose the difficulties of having a conversation. It's not easy. Here we are talking about what a politician is and the question that is on the table. What is a politician? And if we understand that, we will be able to connect the dots. <laughs> Mkoma Masimba is saying, representative democracy is not easy because those you represent may not be in your mind and the actions you take may be in your mind. How do you connect the majority with where your mind is. Do politicians have a special mind that connects them to the generality of the public? Mr. Tinashe, how do you survive with one mind, two ears, two eyes, and two legs? Okay. How, uh, how do you... Politicians, they don't have uh, a special mind. Uh, they don't think differently. They are like any other person. Um, but I think maybe being a good politician, uh, number one, it's all about the appointment or the building, the building of your team. Because your team uh, is what matters most. 
and uh, and the consultation of understanding what is the issues on the real uh, i mean on uh, on the real ground i think the the, the the strategies within your team married to the reality on the ground or the, or, or the desires of the people i think then it, that 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 um that combination then makes you a, a a good politician because there are some politicians who have got um good strategies but they don't then marry them with the real reality uh on the ground so sometimes you can you can sing a song a reggae song to the people who love um who love gospel music I, I, I mean i mean you can you can sing a wrong tune or you can have a, you, you can create the people who must support you to be the wrong audience so we are a, we are four minutes from our end time uh do you have any final words uh on this uh topic that you want to take on uh, the, the topic of what is a politician? Yeah. Uh, I think um, people must define a politician from different, um, it, 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 I mean, different angles. The politician himself and the people who, um, who participate in, a, in, the, in the choice of the politician. Because in Africa, for example, in Zimbabwe, People tend to disassociate with a leader when a leader is conceived, perceived to be underperforming. But, but the same people are the ones who were chanting and who voted for him. Um, so I think we, we all, I mean, the failure of our country, the failure of, the, of, of our leaders is their responsibility and it's also the citizens' responsibility. So, but we are we are good at name calling, disassociating, um, blaming. The, the, to me, politics is is a game that everyone is a stakeholder. So no one must be proud in Zimbabwe that um, maybe we can say ED is a bad president, and you are you are a good citizen. ZANU PF is a bad political party, and there is another good political party because ZANU PF is a is a Zimbabwean political party. Uh, and MDC is a Zimbabwean political party. Uh, ED is a Zimbabwean political stakeholder. Chamisa is a Zimbabwean stakeholder. So, I mean, we are interrelated. Politics is is, is everything. Politi politics is science. Good, good. Politics is meds. So, I I think uh, when politics is wrong, when politics is wrong, everyone must 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 take responsibility. There is no one who is who is wrong. No one is right. Everyone is wrong. So uh, I think on that score, thank you very much for giving up your time. I will ask uh, uh, Chimedza, uh, the wife, and Mkoma uh, Masimba to go deeper. Do you accept uh, that there's a lot of gossip about people, Mr. Tinash? That people talk yeah. about you. So yeah. what I have to ask these people is to talk about you and you are not there. Let's hear what they're saying about you. So, um, I mean, what people say of uh, about me is not informed by facts, is not informed by, yeah, it's informed by their, their identity. Uh, uh, people who define me, the question is, are they defining me as ZANU-PF? Are they defining me as the, as the MTC? Because we have got a problem of, I can say, binary, uh, binary uh, syndrome. We are thinking in two ways, the ZANU-PF way or the MDC way. So if, if I belong to ZANU-PF, and people from ZANU-PF would, would think of me in a good light. If I, if I belong to MDC, People who, who come from MDC would, would just praise me. Uh, we, we, we are saying they are dictators in Africa, but we also forget that we, we are good at boot licking. We, we praise sing, we are praise singers. We also, in boot licking, we are also creating a good leader.
to be a dictator. So uh, I, I mean, I'm not surprised, and I won't be shocked when people uh, um, show me a certain understanding of who I am, because I know that it, it will be informed by by which political formation or identity they are coming from. Hello, yeah. So what we are going to do is uh, uh, we want to be able to advance this gossiping. You have opened the door and the show is today. Yeah. So we want the public to rate Mr. Jonasi. Is this the kind of politician you want to see? He's not, neither MDC nor Rosano PF, he's just himself. And he was talking as an individual, responding to individual questions. So, Mkoma, Simba, Chimeza, and Sarah, I want you to spend 30 minutes just uh, judging him and uh, in his absence so that you can then be able to come up with this ideal person you call a politician. He has given us a framework to think about a politician. He has given us his input about what kind of animal this should be. And he has said he has offered himself to be one of those people to be considered by you, the people. And then you must then be honest because he's not a president yet of the country. There are some people when they become president, they become monsters. But then you wonder how did they become monsters when we were cheerleaders and we were never honest with our opinions on them. So Mr. Jonasi, thank you. I will send a new link if you want to come back, Mr. Jonas. You can come back in the terraces or you can watch and hear what is the climate in Zimbabwe. And there are some people who prefer so and so and so and so without thinking about this human being called the president. So our show, the next one is going to be called Mr. President, who is at the pinnacle of the food chain of politics. What kind of president do you want? Do you want a president who is a retailer, who is a wholesaler? Do you want a president who is caring, who solves problems, or a president who is just a human being like you? So thank you very much for that. Yeah, Mr. Mawere, thank you uh, for the platform. And uh, I think the show, um, you know, these questions, they make you go deeper. They make you, they they disrupt your comfort zone. So I think it's, a, it's very good to get an opportunity to be questioned. Uh, because the, you, it, 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 as I said, it disrupts your comfort. And it, 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 I mean, it upgrades your, your, your desire to, 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 to seek more information and understanding on the subject of leadership and politics. Thank you very much. It takes a man to acknowledge that life is about learning. Nobody has got perfect answers. Yeah. So it's work in progress, Mr. Jonas. Never take it personally. Because no. those who bark at you are your friends. <laughs> who don't say anything are your enemies. Yeah. Those who take time to listen to you are your friends. Because there are some people who, who will never want to improve. They don't have time to even talk with people yeah. they don't know. So you yeah. end up surrounded by people who you think are on your side, but yeah. actually yeah. they despise you. 
and yeah, they think yeah. it's no good. Yeah, no. And, I, for me, for me, okay. it's an honor. It's an honor to be on the platform, and it's an honor to people asking me questions. And my brother Simba, uh, nothing personal. Uh, I mean, politics is, is, is. I mean, when you are on my seat right now, it's hot, you know. So we, we, we. I mean, after the interviews, we meet somewhere. Obviously, we hug, we, we drink it together. Uh, I mean, thank you for asking me questions. So, Mkwama Simba, are you there? <laughs> Mkwama, are you there? Mr. Go Deeper, are you there? <laughs> because you need to respond to... And I see Elizabeth Linetti says, work hard, you'll be there. You are not bad. <laughs> but, but the same person was saying, you are bad. So uh, I want to hear what Elizabeth has changed her perspective on you. You know that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. If I read what she was saying about you, then mm. he, he can't. Mm. I want a caring president. It helps to see where you are, you are and better yourself. So that's, okay. yeah, this involves citizens. Jimmy Muno Muno Zorowa Wanu Kanata Kutichi Bayi Pachigaro Imi Mune Hasha. I haven't seen that. Calling us cowards. You can't work as a team. You have seen it here. That's, uh, that's what she, uh, she is saying. Why are you angry? Mr. Jonas, look, he has an attitude. This is the problem. We can't get a good opposition to be against ZANU PF. Look at those laws in South Africa. Look, he can't even say sorry. So uh, that, then okay. uh, um. because he shows some softness. And he said sorry to Simba at last. So Mkomama Simba, you are here. Somebody is routing for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is called that is the purpose of engaging. It was a heated conversation. And uh, the more we go deeper, the more we fine tune each other. And I'm glad my brother Tinash is here. And uh, we're gonna continue to engage with him and uh, help him to realize his dream. <clears throat> so yeah. So what is your rating for this show? I think this is the first time you have a public engagement with Tinashe Jonas. What is your I rating? Think, I think, Tinashe, you need more of these shows, right? Remember, you're also marketing yourself. You're also engaging with people and you grow. Your Tinashe, my rating right now, you're doing very well based on what I saw before. You were a bit arrogant. You were struggling to answer questions. You were more emotional. I remember I even watched you, I've been attacking my way the same Dara way, we got to be a man in Zimbabwe. I like that, you know why? It's called politics. It's like a game, you know, that's your strategy. I call it attention seeking. You got my attention when you wanted to arrest okay. the president. Okay. Then I think you're also gonna learn how to engage with the public. For example, the word coward. I was acting for cowards, I was doing it for cowards. Those are rude words. <laughs> you've been engaged in Tinashe. You're gonna within three months, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. Because the, and, I mean, we, we learn every day. And you made that in Sweden. What's your take? Um, on Mr. Jonasi, um, I, I found him to be in, um, 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 just side dragging the read, Kwano Rere Gera, the Gubi Tech Tech. Because, um, as, um, as, as a non-partisan person or as, um, you know, I, I've been active in politics, I can say. Uh, I, I got involved with MDC Welshman Nube when I was in um, Highfield. I helped a candidate, Yaki Koko, to, as part of JOMIC, because, you know, joint monitoring and whatnot, uh, you, you need representatives from, from all parties. So it's a situation where... Um, 
I was able to articulate certain things within the constitution and draft certain papers for him. So it was my uh, knowledge of English uh, that he sought after my, my services. Um, I decided to represent MDCT uh, Welshman Nure not because I, 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 I adhere or I am um, a member of that organization. Just to be part of the process, um, that is why I, I, I volunteered. I got the opportunity actually to be one of the people who were around Namgaba to vote at that time because he came to I feel that is spot. So I was actually there when um, Mugabe voted. So um, it's people like me who are non-partisan but still interested in the politics of Zimbabwe. I think, um, I don't know what you can categorize as a <clears throat> but you know, just another label. But from my uh, perspective, the, the mantra you had in the beginning and the mantra you have now is changed. For before I I I I I agreed with what you you, you stood for, right? How you went about it, perhaps, um, that's a different story. But what you stood for then was pretty clear. You 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 were opposition, you were clearly opposition, and the lines were, were clear. Now, you did something, you thought embarrassed yourself on national TV, SABC, where you had to recant and try and make friends with these people that you said now you've grown up and you see the light. And to me, that's a different start. stance, like you've done a complete 180, like what? Did, did these people threaten you for what you did? Or did you get paid to take the stance now you're taking? So for me, it seemed as if, okay, perhaps now we are dealing with an agent of ZANU-PF. Now, that's my opinion. Okay, this is a ZANU-PF project, right? Uh, he, he, he talks a good talk to get a certain a number of individuals on his side. And then at the end of it, you do a 180. But then you leave these people disillusioned, uninterested, with a bitter taste in their mouths to say, there we go again. Uh, it's, it's the same old stuff, no matter where you look. So you end up with this feeling you're putting um, politicians are playing games with us uh, as citizens, that it is better for us as citizens to stay out of the game of politics and perhaps work with civic groups that perhaps we formulate ourselves that tend to uh, address our own issues as Zimbabweans rather than from a political stance to say, well, before you can tackle these issues. You need to be part of this said political organization. You need to have said political ideology in order for you to have representation as a Zimbabwean. But I say to you that the whole system is defunct, or well, that's my personal view, that the whole system is defunct. The whole system has been taken on board by people who have little understand of democratic processes. People have inherited something from a colonial era that they have no compunction, no understanding. Chimeda, no. Chimeda, yes. Chimeda, we are talking about the performance today, uh, today. of Jonasi. And then he, if you are happy with it, if you have suggestions, let's try to uh, get the essay. Okay. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy because um, I, I need a clear stance as a uh, as a citizen i need a clear stance on 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 the current situation here's my stance on this current situation okay so and you you, you felt time. did you feel that he was not clear because the the questions that were raised are the questions that he sought to answer we yes, didn't uh, expand it uh, from the Question and answer, do you believe that the answers he gave were to the best of his ability and knowledge that he has not tried to hoodwink you or to tell you something he doesn't believe himself? I, no, I think he is. Yes, yes, yes. He has not, he has not clearly, clearly defined his position. He has no, not what? What is your what is a politician to you? To me personally, a politician, ideally, right, is someone who has the mandate 
of his uh, local constituency, right? Someone who is already a problem solver within their community. Someone who is already respected. So you, are, you, are, you are looking for a Sangoma or which doctor was? Yeah, if, 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 you know, you are for a problem solver. What yeah. problem can a politician solve that you can't solve yourself? Um, the, the problem, we can solve our own problems. We can, we can solve our own problems. That's where I come from, to say where we can need, solve our own problems. Right. Where do you need a politician to hand hold you? To no, wake you up? No, no. Politicians, we appoint to spearhead, right? To spearhead, to channel. What makes them spear when you are the head? We, we, okay, we are all, as an analogy, we are all going into the same direction, right? We cannot all sit on the driver's seat, right? But, and but then, do you appreciate that Tinashe is a human being like you? And when he's yeah. pissed off, he, he says it. He doesn't, uh, yeah. when he's pissed off with uh, Mkoma Masimba, he said, uh, shut your mouth, zip it. So what more do you want? No, I'm, I'm that that genuineness. Well, yes, somebody it, it, who will uh, sugarcoat something and say, "I like Mkoma Masipa, the direction you are going." No, so, um, that, that's the difficulty we have. Let's get deeper. I don't know, Jim, the way that you agree that uh, uh, we need to have a better go deeper on this identity issue, so that we have a shared understanding. Because your understanding and Mkoma Masimba's understanding is not the same. No, but we are trying to 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 come to a consensus, right? We are trying yes. to come to a consensus. Yes. Say it, oh, oh, okay, uh, Mr. Mawere, uh, I'm afraid that, that okay. I, I think I need to come in because he, he has clearly defined himself. He has deviated from today's show and uh, dwell um, much on his own. Uh, understanding of who is Tinashe before the show. So I think I need to come in and, uh, and answer that. Uh, he, he clearly, he deliberately uh, ignored the to, uh, to analyze my performance today. And he came with his preconceived uh, image of who is Tinashe. So I need to come in to, 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 to answer off, off the show because he is a session offline. He had the, their offshore. I mean, yeah. so I need to answer Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mawere. Let me answer him. Uh, okay. you are, Mr. Mawere, you are trying to bring him to the show. He is not interested. From his contribution, he's not interested to, the, to, to, to today's show. So let me answer him. Uh, most people who cheered me when I was insulting people, when I was angry, when I was emotional, when I was saying Let's remove ED. Let's remove Zanopia. Most people who cheered me, it means when they were cheering me and they were not with me, I'm happy that he's saying when I was the beginning, I was saying the things that he was alluding to. <laughs> and I, I know what that was in, insults, that was emotions, that was the, the total removal of Zanopia. Now, because I was leading that narrative and I was maybe like the de facto spokesperson of that narrative that he was agreeing with, I came to a screeching halt where I looked around. I'm preaching the removal of ZANU-PF. Now, when, when, I, when I lead a, a, a mass uprising and say, Zimbabweans, let's go and arrest the president. I went, I had more than 10,000 people who were buying into the narrative that we need a mass, the Egypt style, the Arab Spring Revolution, we can take over Zimbabwe, the, street, the streets, and remove the government. And I had people who were begging me, some financially, somewhat emo emotionally, morally, spiritually. And I went to Zimbabwe. And I tell you that out of 
probably minimum of 10,000 people were supposed to join me. It's only one person who turned out. And the person was the, uh, 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 either a, a CIO or a, a CIO informer who was in communication with the, the, the system. And then when I went to prison, I, I, I was not getting even visitors. All those people who are clamoring, Tinashe Jonasi, General Skaflesi, Wara Wara, all those people who are in... Then, I, I'm in South Africa. I am attacked. I was brutally attacked. And people, they know. It was on video. Everything I went through. Those people who are on social media, who are my supporters, how they, do they support Tinashe Jonas? When they view my video on YouTube, when they view my video in a WhatsApp group, when they view my video on Gambakwe Media or on or, or, um, uh, this platform, that's what they call support. They, they don't buy a, a, a membership card. They don't, they don't contribute moral, in kind, in cash. They, they, so I realized that all my supporters are people who, when they use their data to watch my video, or they put a comment in a comment section. They, that's that's the revolution. Now, I I then understood that there is a difference of removing Zanu PF on social media and removing Zanu PF on the real ground. On the real ground, probably five percent or less of the warriors on social media are going to be found there. So ZANU PF is not going to be removed on social media. I am saying this in reality. Right now, yesterday, I was even talking to uh, leader uh, um, Jacob uh, Job Scala, and I appreciate he, he's saying he ran away from Zimbabwe. Now he's in South Africa. Yes, I appreciate. I appreciate. Okay, wait, I appreciate he wants to close the border. Okay, uh, mama. Okay, okay. Sorry, I guys, appreciate, sorry. I appreciate Mr. Uh, job Jobscala wanting to close the border with EFF, with whatever. But from my informed position, th th that, that attempt would not even succeed because the, the, the police, South African police, would not allow the one week or, or one month closure of the border because it will damage even their economy. They will not allow that. So now I, I, I make a point where I work with reality. MDC Alliance is talking of re, uh, starting a fight with Mr. Mnangagwa. It's fine. But he, the, what they are doing is they are agitating the citizens into believing that ED and ZANU-PF are going to wake up disappearing into thin air. ZANU-PF is not going to disappear into thin air. If anyone wants to remove ZANU-PF, they must really sign a, a, a document sacrificing to be arrested, signing a document sacrificing to be abducted, sacrificing to die. You won't remove a government outside of elections while you don't need a scar on your body. You won't remove ZANU-PF while you are pointing that there are soldiers in the street. If I go in the street, they will kill me. Those who removed the government in Sudan, they, they braved the soldiers. The soldiers were told to shoot to kill. But when the soldiers realized that they, they, they can't kill everyone, they had to turn the guns into the president. So practically, I don't want now to be a leader who is going to agitate the nation, agitate my supporters so that they go to prison, they just get arrested, they die for nothing. I am at a point where I'm in going to I'm engaging Zanu PF, I'm engaging MDC. I'm engaged. That's why I'm telling you that I did in a meeting, a, 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 a good conversation with Mr. Job Sikala. But people they know that Tinashe is the is the some they say Tinashe is anti is Zanu PF project. But behind the scenes, people only know that I, I, I engage leaders. I talk to Madam Kupe. I talk to Mr. Monzora. I talk to everyone. But now. Name, the best way for nation building is to unite people. When you unite people, you bring political stability. When there's political stability, the country can work. I'm no longer looking only 
for a future where I'm a president. I must look at the future where it is a president. A future where I lose elections and Nelson Chamisa becomes the president of Zimbabwe. I, I should still be proud as Tinashe when it is the president. When Nelson Chamisa becomes the president. When Mr. Mwanzora becomes the president. When, when, when Linda Masarira, when anyone else becomes the president of Zimbabwe, Dr. Ngosana Moyo, Dr. Uh, 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 Noah Manyika, whoever becomes the president of Zimbabwe, I must still have pride, I must still have confidence that this is my country and I can still participate. I am now at a position of uniting Zimbabwe. Whether, if I'm talking of unity, I become a ZANU-PF project, I become a CIO. If, if, if someone who is, who is trying to unite people is a CIO, then I would want to call Mr. Isaac Moyo, the CIO director, and say, please give me a job. All right, thank you. And uh, I hope, uh, Mr. Shimeza, you have understood the answer. <clears throat> I understand. It doesn't mean I agree with it. That's the whole point. I do understand what he's saying, where he's coming from. I still don't agree with it, right? Because my personal stance is that, like, why should I have pride in someone I, I'm not proud of? Why should I call someone president when I know that he's not the president? This is personal capacity. I don't think Munangagwa is the president of Zimbabwe legitimately or otherwise. I don't think Chamisa is president of Zimbabwe legitimately or otherwise. It's a question of legitimacy here. When, when I look at Munangagwa, I look at All the right. criminal. Uh, can we refer, defer that question to another show? Right. Uh, where we say, do you agree that we need to be organized so that we can get deeper into some of these issues? There's definitely need for organization in it. That brings it back to what is a politician, right? For me. Right? No, no. I'm, I'm, not talking about a poli I'm saying the three of us. Right. And uh, uh, your wife was there, Sarah. Yeah, she's here. She's just making some coffee for me. Yeah, so she was there. She was listening. We also want to hear her views as a person who is watching us talking. Uh, and talking, but nothing comes out of the talking. That's what Mr. Uh, Tinashe, I hear him to say, that he tested the spirit of Zimbabwe. And he says, if you don't like somebody, and it's a rotten apple, let's go and get the rotten apple. And he right. says, I will lead from the front. But when he looked behind him, he was the only one. So he is saying, I have been there where I was agitated. I hear people saying on Twitter, they are encouraging me to take the front end. Then he is also saying, Hopewell took the same plunge and agreed that ZANU PF must go. At the same breath, he's saying that corruption must go, ED must go. But today, the people who were cheerleading him are sleeping at home. And all he's saying is, let's take stock of what we want to do. But he is not prepared to go in on tangent and then say, I alone with my supporters, believing people who follow you are your supporters. That's for social media. So I hear him to be putting a challenge based on personal experience. There are many of us who talk and talk on social media, but you won't see us on the street. You won't <laughs> see us doing that which must be done to make sure that the expression of your anger is in your actions. All he's saying is there's a contribution I make. I can only speak from my personal experience, but it doesn't change who I am. I may be angry here with Mkoma Mazimba as a human being. Allow me to be angry, but don't take away my own experiences and substitute them with talk because I tested the Twitter, the, uh, the social media, uh, a, a brigade 
<laughs> and, and they allowed him to be exposed on his own. And he had to think deeper, dig deep into his moral conscience and say, do I go left? Do I go right? And that's why he's just moving as an individual himself. So I just called him here for us to dig deeper into this identity. There are some so-called leaders who will not come to a platform like this because they don't want to be asked questions. They don't want to be uncomfortable. And that's the Zimbabwe you have. Tomorrow is a president. And it takes your different opinion to be a personal opinion against him, not for what you believe in. And then the organs of state will be unleashed on you, Shimeza. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. So let's relearn and learn and just learn from those who have taken the forward. The people in the diaspora. But him, he is brave to Nasha. You did something. You can count it, and he's remembered for that. So if he's no, remembered for no, that... Yeah, that's the thing, though. I'm not taking away from the prior action, right? This is contrasting between then and now, right? That's why I'm saying I'm speaking for myself from my understanding of Mr. Jonasi, right? I'm not speaking on behalf of everybody else. I'm speaking on behalf of myself and how I'm connected to him. He doesn't know me. I know him. Um, more than he knows about me because of the actions that he took upon himself, right? We are in the sidelines. Now he knows me a little bit more. Um, but we've been, we've, we've even appeared on JC, uh, JC's show um, a few weeks ago. You were, you were on JC TV. Um, uh, Mr. Mawere, uh, I would even ask you to the, the contributor, I would want his number so that he, I can still engage him more because he uh, I think you want to know. I, 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 me, my formula of life is experience is the best teacher. Experience right. is the best teacher. Those, you know what? Zimbabwe is rich in a different. I mean, a, a different uh, leadership. The MDC Alliance is talking about the total removal of ED and 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 and, and, and Zanu PF. Those who, who believe ED is going to be removed through the social media, through fantasy, they are going to join the, the Chamisa Chete Chete Choir. Those, I mean, there's so many leaders. Me, I, I present myself here, and I'm not here to beg for a vote. I want to get a vote that I deserve. I don't mind come 2023, I get five votes. I will be proud of those votes if those people truly believe in me. I won't be nice to anyone to get votes. I won't put makeup. I won't. I. I. I will never beg a single in the, a citizen of Zimbabwe to vote for me. I will never. Because if I get five votes, I will deserve them. I. I won't be a president of Zimbabwe if I don't deserve to be a president. So surely, if ED is a president of Zimbabwe. But by winning elections, he deserves it. If ED is a president of Zimbabwe by rigging elections, he deserves the president because it means every candidate in Zimbabwe is failing to rig. If 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 people know that ED is a president by rigging, why are they not outsmarting him and rig and rig better and, and, than him? So I, I I mean I'm not in I'm not into defending ED, but I'm now comfortable as a citizen. I'm no longer wanting a confrontational politics which is happening on social media. While it's on the real ground, we, we have got a few people. The, the, person, the contributor right now might not have contributed to the family of Itai Zamara, might not yet send money to the family of Hopu Echungono. The contributor could have not send money to, to Job Buscala, who is running around creating some drama. The contributor could have not send money to the people who died in August 1. Zimbabweans, we need to take responsibility. We are very fake sometimes. We are angry with the government. We are angry with ED. Action, Dololo. 
So me, I'm now refusing to be pushed by Vuvuzelas on social media. Anyone who is on social media and is blowing a, a Vuvuzela, ED must go, ZANU-PF must go. I tell those people, don't vote for me. Go to your family. Tell them also not to vote for Tinashe Jonasi. Come 2023, tell anyone who is in your social circle, I don't need their vote. Anyone who is agitating Zimbabweans to think that the country is going to work when ED and ZANU-PF are gone. I don't, don't vote for me. Don't support me. I, I, I refuse to, to belong to a fake team. If we say ED must go, ZANU-PF must go, don't tell me that. Go further, go deeper. Tell me how. How? What is the strategy to, to make ED and ZANU-PF to disappear into thin air? I am tired of being told ED must go, ZANU-PF must go. The person who is talking that, can't even demonstrate in an embassy in South Africa alone. People who are agitating the nation into the removal of the government, they don't have a record of even demonstrating at the house of a councillor, at the house of a member of parliament. But on social media, those people, they are frontliners. I am taking a conscious decision. Those who want ED to go, Zanupi have to go, and they don't know how. Please tell your family, tell your church, I don't want your vote. So I think uh, that uh, uh, Benford uh, Mafuade says there is serious uh, rage. And uh, uh, Elizabeth says that's true. Uh, that's true. They are very proud of themselves. Tinashe, I respect you now. Senor Chimbo Garai Pasi Nasi. And Ebi say Mandishona. Totally agree with him. 120%. Jonas is a ZANU PF project. That's identity politics. I think we'll deal with it in another show. This issue of calling somebody Zanu PF, a human being like you and me, Rollings. <laughs> How do I become a logo when I have a thinking mind? Mupengo, you can't come here in Zimbabwe. You're also talking on social media. Yes, he says he was arrested in Zimbabwe, he has paid his school fees. And I hope she made that you know the song Amazing Grace. Yes. How, how sweet it sound. It's a slave song. <laughs> not a slave. No, it's not a slave song. It is. But it, is it, was, it, was, uh, it was written by Newton. Yes. Who was I'm a slave. slave. Yeah. But he didn't write it for the slaves. He wrote about himself. Okay, let's go into the history of it slightly. The slaves were humming that song on the slave ship. He ended up putting words to it on that slave ship. That's and, right. Um, yes, right. And it became famous because how... No, I'm, you, I'm not talking about... The, I'm talking about how I was once blind. But now I see, yeah. Now I see... So if Tinashe is one to come here to say, I was once blind, I trusted people I don't see. Only to discover I was right. alone. Let's, 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 let's try and unpack this here also. because no, I'm sorry, right. we are going to unpack it some other time. What we are trying to do is to provoke conversations. What he has given is in insight into... This character called a politician, and that's what I wanted you to talk to as right. of today, so that we don't arrest him for longer than what we had agreed, so right. that we don't prolong it. So right. we are not here uh, to be able to argue with him, but to deal with our own blindness on this question of, of uh, identity 
There are some people who want someone to be president without knowing what the president is and is not. There are some people who are saying ED must go without understanding what he actually does on a day-to-day -day basis. And if he goes, what will be missing? There are many people who gave Mugabe credit for everything, every decision, good or bad. And there are things that he didn't know as well. Only to discover when they threw him under the bus. <laughs> so can we learn from those who are still with us to say, you did this? What was your state of mind when you went to Zimbabwe? He was energized. People were following him like flies. Mm -hmm. And he became that good meat where all flies will fly to. Only to discover when it was being fried, there was no fly anymore. They disappeared. <laughs> and he ended yeah, up... I'm, I'm not denying his experiences or, or trying to take away from his experience. That is what I'm actually working with from what he has done. It's just opposed to what he also says. That's what I'm saying now. His rhetoric to me has changed, and he says also. Uh, well, okay, that. Mr. Mawere, I'm I'm afraid that we we, we are now creating a, a, a show inside a show because the, the, this this discussion is, is is not is not related to what is a politician. No, it's a. It, that's what I'm saying to Chimeza. Let's have structure and order. If there are things that that are in your mind outside this when you see tinashe you want to post box him just unfortunately no, not me. Not me. no 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 mr mawere as i said connect us i would want you to forward me his number his i i number. I'm, I'm, I'm very afraid i'm sorry i'm very willing to talk to him any day any time yeah, we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I'd like to pick your brains. That's the thing, isn't it? If you want us to do it live on my channel, I can. I can, uh, I can no. Do it. no, 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 no. That is that, that's a different topic. Because remember, I don't even know you've got a channel. I, I'm saying we are going to get to know each other better outside this platform today. But what we yeah. want is there, uh, Chimeza, not to fish people. Let's build a platform where we can independently <laughs> learn using Tinashe as a case study. Right, because but Mr. Mawere, that's the thing. You're not even allowing me to project forward, right? It's to say, uh, we are, we, I, I'm trying to take it to a, a different uh, place. No, I'm not trying to take it to the, a different place. I'm really dealing with the identity of politics in Zimbabwe, and I'm trying to deal with the identity of politics in Zimbabwe and where Mr. Jonas C comes in, right? Because his perception and my perception are not similar. But if we can reach a consensus on certain things, perhaps, then... We, we we can actually move forward. Yeah, he, has, he, has, he has agreed to engage you. Right. And he has yes, agreed to do it here on, your channel, on, on, on this platform. I'm part of the C2C, right? My yeah, wife you, is you, are, you are part of us, but what yes. we are saying is, let us organize around this idea called President First without just using him as an example like Jesus. He doesn't have to come to church. It, I don't have to engage them one on one. We can then engage ourselves in learning from him. That's why I wanted to what, to get him out so that he we can relieve him so that we among ourselves and then we can then come to him. Mr. Mawera, I respect you, but I don't agree with Tinashe. He thinks he can be better than ED. Unen Zara Ukaona food. This idea of accusing somebody of being a scavenger or being a prostitute must end somewhere. That is the purpose of this show, to end this finger pointing. He is entitled to be wrong. He is entitled to be correct. Let him be himself, trust. We are not here. Don't give your number to Porter. Fine. So all I'm saying is that there are different views. Nelson Chamisa is the true leader of the people of Zimbabwe, not ED. We are not here for a beauty pageant. We are not here to compare and contrast. You are a leader yourself, Rawlings. Never surrender your sovereignty to anyone. You are the deal. So let we are not saying 
uh, come and become a president of, of, of Facebook Live. No. That would be wrong. We are not saying being a president of Twitter. But being on the ground, it tells you something. So I thank you very much. And we are not here to fight for better ideas, but just to understand the people who save us. The people who, in terms of the Constitution, are supposed to be our servants, but they end up being our leaders. How does it work when you need someone to save you and he doesn't understand? When you need a wife, she becomes something after marriage. So can't we learn that before I enter the room, I am somebody. Before I, I get a job, I'm somebody. And when I get this, uh, Mr. Jonas, the number is there. Uh, I shared it uh, on the private. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah, so I think uh, uh, unless there is something that is uh, outstanding, thank you, uh, people. I learned a lot today. So if I was to dedicate this show, Chimeza, I would dedicate it to Elizabeth Linetti. She started with guns blazing against uh, Tinashe. She is leaving this show a different person, with a different mind, with a different perspective, that this business of Zimbabwe does not require us to be vocal about it, let us look deeper and see those who can see what we don't see and allow them to share what they can't share. But if we are organized, it means there's nothing we can miss. We can ask the president to say, you're my president, but I can talk to you. But the business of electing somebody, then say he's not my president because I didn't become a president, must end somewhere. We all can't be at the same place. The Vatican is there, it's not yet the coup. I don't know, Mr. Jonas, have you ever seen a coup in the Vatican? Ah, uh, no, no. But they've been there for more than a thousand years. Leaders have come and gone, or whatever you call them. But the institution remains. Why is it that we come to a stage where we can't accept anyone else except me? And I become the sole leader. And anyone who says what I don't want to hear, then he may, like uh, you are saying that if you've been bought, is, uh, is that what uh, Chimeza said? Yeah. You may need yeah. to uh, you know, that. If, 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 if Mr. Chimeza think I'm on auction, then I want to know how much is he offering. Mr. Chimeza, how can you limit somebody to being a scavenger for cash, to being a prostitute for sex? Look, <clears throat> I, when you're taking things out of proportion, let's, let's use what I use, Adelega. I say, I said, that when you're looking in retrospect, and uh, okay. what what the man stood for and how he came across, it's one time where the next morning you hear him wake up and he's singing a different tune over an incident that happened on SABC. Because that's the thing in it. When we follow people, doesn't mean I'm vocal when I follow you. Doesn't mean I comment every time when I follow you. But then I'm interested yeah, because I, of what you are saying, right? What you are saying is... For me, it's 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 good that someone is voicing that out. Someone is has got the the guts, the kahunas to say those kind of things to power. Those things need to be said to power, right? There are people who are cowards in life. Yes, it happens. Certain people are much braver in life. Yes, you find it. But are, some but people are more Yes, some people are not. Right. But where but where he was, the stance that he had taken, right? I supported that. I, I was with that. Now, the next morning when he switched and turned around and saying, and no, now um, I, 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 I'm, I, I've, I've changed my mind. I've grown up. I've matured. I now want to work with uh, this creature that I was insulting just the day before yesterday. 
Um, for us, for someone like me, I can't make that change. I can't make that switch. You understand? So I have to think to myself, okay, what could motivate such a man, Andidiga? Was, was fear putting him, Andidiga? Uh, if they go to him somehow, like, look, you know, somebody, you know, uh, we know where you live or we, we know where but, your, uh, your, your brother lives, but, right? So they put fear but, in him uh, in that scenario. Or the other scenario is, well, perhaps he sold out to, to the movement, right? Putting, okay, we see your vocal, we see you, you put, you've got enough people, but let's get you to our side. You know, that, that's the two things that comes but, out of it. Uh, it's a rational human being. But, uh, but, but to uh, accuse him of that, I, I but, never vocally accuse him of it. That's why I'm asking him the question, which is, okay, why why the 180? You understand? Okay. Mr. Jimeza, uh, with the due respect, all the permutations of what motivated me to change the, my, my, my approach, right. both permutations, they don't consider me as an independent thinker. <laughs> you know? Because it's either it was fear or it was money. Then you are not putting the third option that I might use my own brain to think. You know, you, 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 are, you are taking the third option that even when I started fighting the, the, the authorities, you, you, are not, you are not saying it was my own decision. No, but that's now, a, that's uh, a no, no, no. to you uh, as your uh, 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 you uh, uh, Wait, uh, wait. You see, I'm, I'm on the platform. I am saying you are putting two permutations. That is fear and the money. You are not generous enough to add the third option that it could be my mind, it could be my decision. You know? So I'm saying you are it's like you are coming like you are very mean. You are, you are not being kind or, or generous to add the third option that I might have decided, you know. Right. Okay, <laughs> but this is the thing though, but who do you who do you look up to? Is an ideal president of Zimbabwe. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Then second. Uh, Mr. Mr. Do, 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 I'll vote for you. you. Do you respect the independence and sovereignty of others? Yes, very much. Make their own decisions. Yes, very much. So if I'm married today and I divorce. What are you going to say to me? I would ask you what 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 um what what changed uh in your relationship? Not, not, none of your business. Why do you have to ask me? Oh uh, well, if 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 you, if you respect me, if you respect my sovereignty, that I yes. am sovereign, I stand on my legs, not on my knees, right? Like you. Right. Why would you think I'm on my knees? Unless you are saying you are superior to me, that my choices are inferior to yours. No, 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 no. I'm not suggesting that at all. Um, like when you say, do you respect other people's sovereignty? Yes, I do. But so if you if, ask me to say, why did you get divorced? No, no. no scenario, stay right? in your lane. If, when I ever decide to come into your lane, you ask me, why are you coming into my lane? If Tinashe went there and they treated him, Process them and uh, efficiently so that he can be put <laughs> in prison. That uh, I'm on the wrong side of the mountain. Then let him come to what he thinks is the right mountain, including speaking to whoever he wants to speak to, without being told. Like someone says, Jonas is now on Zanu PF Spiro. The last time I knew Zanu PF is bankrupt financially. <laughs> How can you accuse somebody of being paid by something that is dead financially? And the person has never contributed money to Zanu PF. For him to go into the lane and say you receive something from Zanu PF. Later on, yeah, he's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, these are not facts, these are assumptions. You see what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm not based on facts here. These are my assumptions, right? But do, you agree, I, do you agree that asking somebody, why did you divorce? Why did you turn left or right? It's interfering with his fundamental right. I think that depends on what kind of relationship you, you have with that person. 
right? If no, it's the same that you mean, no, that's not a, a tenacity. Allow yeah. him to be different, like your daughter, like your wife. You live longer. But the moment you want them to make your choices and you become angry that he made the wrong choice, who are you now to decide to judge? No, 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 no. As, a, as a, someone who is willing to follow a certain ideology, right? That's the whole point. Is to, my premise is to, okay, I'm, I'm in the market here, right? I'm shopping around, right? And what I'm hearing from Mr. Jonasi and his party, I'm liking right so i subscribe to that right but down the line his rhetoric changes i feel like i've been duped you see what i'm saying like i've been strung along that's the but, way i feel you see what i'm saying know, Mandela was an ex-con there are many prisoners who are, who are rehabilitated who go on to do amazing things i don't deny all of that at all so so can you find it in your heart not to be the judge of someone's choices. Embrace the choices when they are made. Then you say, Tinasha, how can we move together so that the mistakes you have you have you went through, we avoid them together? Not you are going to relive the past to make different choices. Let's celebrate the choices he has made. Yeah, I find it difficult to be on board with that. You see, that's the okay. thing. Oh, okay, yeah. Mr. Maweri, for progress' sake, uh, uh, the, what are the facts on the ground? Mr. Chimeza never bought a card of my political party. Uh, he's not. He's not. He's not a party member. So, Mr. Chimeza has got the privilege to buy a card from any other party. Number one. Number two. Mr. Chimeza has got a privilege to form his party and buy a card of his own party, and I promised him I will vote for him in 2023. So I think he, Mr. Chimeza must know that I am another candidate in Zimbabwe, if, if I, 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 and I agree and I accept to lose your vote. And uh, Mr. Mawere, we can move on. Yeah, okay, no, that's, uh, so thank you very much, and uh, Mr. Chimeza, it makes good TV, what you have said, and the uh in the lesson of the day she made that ziza apa and that's what benford saying so i think let's all learn and let's think let's reflect sovereignty is indivisible i'm a free person to make the wrong choices including to marry somebody you don't think is worthy of my attention let us rise above these limitations. Choices we make on behalf of other people, yet we can't make the choices ourselves. Let us be human, fallible like everybody else, mortal like everybody else, but celebrate the humanity in us and learn from the lessons that we go through in life. And those who have stories to tell, Let's listen to them, judge them for their honesty about their own stories. Because there's nothing we can do to change that. But the moment we want people to change who they are, because we want them to make superior choices, when they're just living life in the present tense, they're not living it so that others may look up to them. If you do look up to meat and you're a fly, by all means go to the meat. But the meat will never invite you to come and make it rotten. So let us be ourselves. And if I cannot, if I can make my choices, so can you. Respect mine so that I respect yours. And that's how we come together and build bridges. But the moment you make choices on behalf of somebody else, we are now in another world. That's not what life is. We hold this truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by the creator, not by any government, not by any man with certain unalienable rights. And among these are the right to life, that life of Jonas is his life. He is the one who lives it. He is the author of his choices. 
liberty, the right to make choices. And let him make his own choices. Create his own sword so that he dies by his own sword and pursuit of whatever makes him happy. If being a friend of E.D. makes him happy, by all means, be the best friend of E.D. But make sure that you know where you stand. Your ground is your ground. Who really has time to listen to Jonasi? It's not Jonas we are listening to. It is the lessons from Jonas' life that brings us here. There are many people who are not willing to share their experiences. They pretend that everything is hunky dory. They pretend they got money when they don't have money. They pretend politics is easy and we don't finance them even buy a cigarette. We don't do that. So I agree. If you are going to stand for something, respect the, the people that are following you as a leader. No, I will not follow flies. The meat <laughs> is invaded by flies. But I will not respect someone who wants to make me rotten. How many followers want to destroy the reputation of the people they follow without them knowing? So, Janet, let's build a society of tolerance, a society where I am, I can respect. And as I close, I think uh, Jonas, it takes a man to make a mistake and realize it. When you are on your own, even people you call friends, they become enemies. They scratch you from their phone books. Mm. And you appear to be a lunatic. Yet when we have spoken here, there's no lunacy in you. Nothing. There's nothing of the order. Even in Mkoma Masimba, did you recognize him today? That is the same guy we spoke to yesterday. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, yeah, I didn't, you know. So, yeah. Yesterday, he was another man mm. in depression, talking mm. about something mm. that is dead. Should imagine the Australian government hears him talking here. And they, they say, is he the same man that was yesterday? Okay, thanks. But Jonas is no traction. We are not here to promote Jonas. Meat will never promote flies. Let him be the meat for the people who love him. Let us not talk about which is the best meat for flies. How many of us are voters who behave like flies? Visitors to scavenge on fresh meat. So that it becomes rotten quickly. How many of our politicians we look up to when we put them in office? We are the first ones to criticize them, denigrate them, vilify them. Then you say, but where did they come from? From which womb? It is us who create these animals. Then after we create them, we disown them. We throw them in the basket, in the rubbish bin. How long can this practice continue, Chimeja? Let us not go that far. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.